Hey everyone, I'm Brianna. Welcome back to my channel. It feels good to say those words again. Um, so today's video is going to be something like super fun and again to kind of hold me accountable for a lot of the books on my shelf that I have not read yet. Um, I've been seeing this video going around and it's basically people just sharing the books that they own that are either on their TBR or they haven't read yet. So mine's kind of a combination of the two because these books are either recently or have been on my TBR for a long time and these are also the books that I own on my main shelf that I haven't read yet. Um, but I want to do an update really quick. I ended up getting a new color in my hair. So if you guys have been on my channel for a while, yes, I had blonde highlights. Blonde, blonde, blonde for years and I would basically just let them grow out and then put them back in and I kind of started to not love it as much anymore and I wanted something different but I wanted it not necessarily to be my natural hair or similar to my natural hair so I don't know if you guys can see in this lighting it's kind of hard to but I kind of have like red hints that's because I got some copper um balayage highlights in my hair and I actually really like it a lot, but that's my update. Um, my other update is the current book that I'm reading. So if you guys know, I am in my, ugh, I'm in my third year of college. Wow, that's insane. And I'm on my winter break, which has turned into an extended winter break because of COVID. So I've kind of just been devouring any book I can get my hands on now. And most of them are either rereads or new releases. So I will probably have a recent reads or a wrap up at the end of the month of the books I've been reading. But my current read is The Summer King Bundle by Jennifer L. Armachow. This is part of the 1001 Dark Nights kind of type of books. If you know these types of books, they tend to be novellas. They are steamy novellas. And they, this is the Summer King Bundle. So there's three novellas in one book bind up. I got this for my Hanukkah gift. And yeah, I just started reading it because... I'm excited to see where it goes. Uh, this is the novellas to the Wicked series. So you're going to see some of the same characters from the Wicked series, which are actually up here um, in this book. But these follow different characters that are in that series. And I don't want to tell you too much because you kind of have to read the series before you read this book because there's a whole bunch of spoilers. But I'm super excited. I'm very happy to see where these new characters go. And yeah, it's my current read. So without further ado, I think I have about 20 to 30 books in this pile, which is not too bad. Most are mass markets, so I really need to get on my mass markets and I have to stop reading new books. I gotta read the ones on my shelf. Um, but I'm hoping I can read these books soonish. We'll see. Um, but I'll go through, I guess, my mass markets first and I'll kind of explain what they are, why I haven't read them, stuff like that. So the first book I have is Judgment Road by Christine Feehan. This is book one in her MC type of romance. I definitely want to read it, but I have heard that book one and two are super slow. And I'm not so much in the MC mood right now, but when I get a chance, I would definitely read these. I really, really enjoy Christine Feehan and my mom absolutely loves her. So yeah, definitely good to start this book. Then I have, when I went on my um, used bookstore buying haul and I kind of was in a historical phase for a while, I have a ton of historicals and paranormals here that I'm going to share with you. So the first one is Duke of Sin by Elizabeth Hoyt. I literally know nothing about this. I just really love the color of this book. The pink and the green I think go well. Um, there is a step back actually, which is actually really pretty. All I know is this is about a duke and it's a historical romance. That's it. I think he is basically punished and he's very vain and stuff like that. And he kind of is demoted until he learns new ways in society. And she's a housekeeper, but I don't know how they get involved at all. But when I am in the historical mood, I will pick this one up. Then we have Wolfishly Yours by Lydia Dare. I know nothing about this other than the fact that she 
is an American and he is from Britain and obviously there's werewolf shifters in this. I'm not sure if he's a shifter or she's a shifter. I can't speak. Uh, this part of the series, this is not the first book I don't think, but it looks good when I picked it up and yeah, I'm excited to get into this one. Then we have The Outlaw Viking by Sandra Hill. I've heard of Sandra Hill. I heard she's a great author and I love Vikings, so a great mix for me. Um, again, I'm really excited. This one's really beat up. It's definitely a used book, but once I'm in the mood for historicals, I'll pick this one up. All my books are falling now. Then we have Never Trust a Pirate by Valerie Bowman. This is a pirate historical. I, again, I don't really know too much about these unless I read them on the back. It, read on the back what they're about. But if you guys have heard of any of these books, let me know which ones I should pick up quicker than the others. But yeah, this is another one. Then we have One Lucky Vampire by Lindsay Sands. This has been on my shelf forever and I have yet to pick this one up and I do not know why. Um, there's kind of a step back, but it's not really a step back. And obviously it's about a vampire. I think I've read like two or three chapters and I've kind of put it down. So when I'm in the mood, again, I'll read it. But this one is such a pretty book. Then we have Angel and Armani by Melanie Scott. This is book two in a trilogy, I think. Um, I hated the first one, but I kept the second one so I can read it. So hopefully I will get to the second one soon because I'd like to see what happens. And I think they're both doctors. Um, so hopefully this one I will like. Then we have A Touch of Stone and Snow. This was an impulse buy. This one's by Amy Levine. This is book two in her A Gathering of Dragons series. Um, I read the first one and I was not like a lot of people. I only gave it three stars. I liked it but not a whole bunch. So I kind of have to reread that one and I think I didn't realize how dense of a fantasy it was. So I plan to reread that one and then read this one because everyone loves this and I really want to love it but I don't want to force myself to love it so that's my problem but we'll see. Then I have Moonlight Seduction by Jennifer Armitrout. This is book two in her adult trilogy. This is kind of a um, mystery thriller romance type books. I read the first one I enjoyed it and I just never picked up the second and third because I was never in the mood for them so I'll probably buy the third and then that will make me want to reread the first and then read these two. Then we have Stormy Persuasion by Joanna Lindsay. This is, I assume, a pirate novel for what it looks like. But yeah, another pirate one. Then we have Some Like It's Scandalous by Maya Rodale. Uh, this is, I assume, a duchess or something of that sort type of historical novel. And then we have Highland Gladiator, Scots and Swords, book one by Catherine Levesque. I don't think I pronounced her last name right. I started this and I got like 10, 15 chapters in and it dragged so much. So I may have to unhaul this one, even though it's pretty new, but we'll see how it goes. <sighs> then I have A Hook Your Like No Other by Cressley Cole, which everyone is raving about the series. And I did start it. If you have followed my channel, I did start it and I did not like the first couple chapters and I put it down. So I guess we'll see. These, this book, from what I've heard, it's a Faded Mates book and it gets better when it goes on. So I'm hoping I'll enjoy it. I just didn't really like the first couple chapters and the characters and how they're described. So we'll see. And then my last set of mass markets is the Sea Haven series by Christine Feehan. It's the whole series. Um, so each one is about each of the six sisters and each book con they control a different element. I'm not sure if they're in the correct order but I'll say the order I have them in anyway. These books look gorgeous and I'm really excited because I love any type of elemental book. Um, that's just like something really cool to me. But these are the books. So we have Waterbound and there is a step back. It's Waterbound. Then I have Firebound, which does not have a step back, 
but it's just one of the sisters and there's a little water damage but it's okay um bound together and yeah that's it spirit bound with a step back airbound with a step back and then Earthbound, which is actually the best addition out of these with another step back. So those books I'm really, really excited to get into, but I feel like those I kind of have to read together. I did hear the first one is a little slow, so I think that's kind of why I've been hesitant to start them. But I think those are on the top of my to-do reading list or TBR, I would say. Next, we have Misadventures with a Country Boy by Elizabeth Haley. This one's super short, so I will probably be reading this sometime soon. I don't remember why I haven't read this one, honestly. Um, but this is part of the Misadventure series. I love this series. Super quick reads. All different authors write them. Really, really good. But yeah, this one's obviously about a country boy. Then I have A Heart So Fierce and Broken by Bridget Kemmerer. So this is book two in the A Curse So Dark and Lonely series. I read A Curse So Dark and Lonely two years ago, but I don't remember anything about it. And I actually lent it out to one of my friends to read. So once I get that back, I'm going to read the first book and then read this book. But this is kind of a Beauty and the Beast retelling. And I heard the second book is so good. So I kind of want to read the first book as soon as possible or reread it so I can read this one. Then I have Letters to Nowhere by Julie Cross, which I did start this summer, if you watched my vlogs earlier. Um, I put it down to go to school, and then I never picked it up again. I don't know if I'm going to unhaul this one yet or not, but I kind of want to read it first and try it out, and then unhaul it if I don't like it afterward. We have four more books left. So the next book is Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne. Uh, my boyfriend actually got this for me last year. I don't know if it was a Christmas or birthday present. Um, but I expressed wanting to read this book and I actually have not read this one surprisingly. Um, this is a, a classic I would say and I love the concepts behind it and I really really want to read it. So but this one because it's like a heavy literature that's what I would consider it. It's going to take me a little bit to read because there's a lot to process through it. So I kind of have to be in the right mindset and I don't want to read it quickly and rush through it. So this one I feel like it's Either I'm going to read this break or I'm going to wait till summer and kind of jump into it. But I am excited to get into this one. Next, we have The Tourist Attraction by Sarah. I literally don't know how to pronounce the last name because the Target stick is covering it. This one I started and I wasn't the hugest fan of it. Um, but possibly I'll pick it up again. I got a big chunk of the way through. Um, I lied. I got up to chapter five. <laughs> So I got 100 pages in, um, if you could see that. So I'll either pick it up again and try it or not. But this is a touristy Christmas type book in Alaska. Um, but we'll see if I pick it up. The next book I have is Lethal by Cassandra Rollins. Yes, this has been on my shelf for years. And yes, I have not read it yet. This is a MC romance book. And this is book one in the Discipline disciples series wow i can't speak today um so again we'll see if i pick it up soon honestly i think i ruined myself for mcs because nothing will beat the hades hangman series ever and when i started with that i kind of just destroyed myself for any other mc book but it's fine and the last book i have that i have not read yet is crush the king by jennifer estep this is book three, and I think it's the last book so far. It's been published in a high fantasy uh, adult series. I read book one and two this summer, and I really enjoyed them. So I hope to read book three soon. I don't really remember the details of one and two, so hopefully I can jump into book three without reading them. But again, hopefully I'll get to this soon. But those are all the books on my shelf that I have not read yet. And I'm actually really proud of myself. I thought it was going to be heaps and piles and just a lot of them. But there hasn't been. Um, but I will probably be holding off some of these books later because of the books that I will possibly be getting for Christmas for gifts. 
Uh, but other than that, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!